welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Mary and today's video is going to be a little free library vlog. So I've seen a lot of people do these. Um, it seems really fun. I didn't realize that Little Free Library is a nonprofit, so they have a website where they chart where all of the Little Free Libraries are, or I guess most of them. The one that's in our neighborhood isn't actually on the chart, but also it had some damage from a storm, and so it's not currently open, so I don't know if that might be why. Like, maybe they're going to take it down. I'm not really sure, but I did look up, like, 10 in my area. I don't know if I'll go to all of them. Um, I've got a bag over there of books that I can show you in a second that I'm like okay with getting rid of so if I pick anything up I will put a book back. That's it. I'm gonna go look at some little free libraries but first I'm gonna go get gas in my car and get probably a drink from the gas station. So join me! So this is the first one, um, and it looks like they just have kids' books, which makes sense because it is at the Boys and Girls Club. Okay, so the first one I went to was at the Boys and Girls Club, um, which I knew it was going to be, but I thought it would be like on the street side. It's literally right in front of the door, and so <laughs> it was so awkward to go over there because there's like people everywhere, and I'm not comfortable filming in front of people. So we're gonna go to the next one. Um, I didn't really get very good shots of that, but hopefully you could sort of see. It's just kids books, so, um, like a lot of picture books, a lot of like probably middle grade chapter books. I just didn't, I could not be there. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. We're going to go to the next one. Okay. So here is this one. Um, it's super cute. I don't know what this like is, but that's me. Hey, um, so I'm going to open it up. Got a little lock on it. Okay. So of interesting stuff. Danielle Steele, a memoir. This definitely has space for me to put some of my books in here, which is good. Proving your serve. And then there's, um, I don't know what this is. David Byrne? A David Byrne album. And a, a tile. Let's look at the top. There's this. Interesting. And then this, so actually, I don't know which book this is, but we have the first two, so maybe I should get this in case I do ever want to read this story, or this series. I know Matt wanted to at one point, too. Um, F Janet Evanovich, I used to love these books when they were first coming out. It's like a bounty hunter thriller series. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some books to put in here, and I think I'm going to take that Game of Thrones book. So, I've decided to leave, let me rearrange, I've decided to leave Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. Someone just drove by with their windows down, that's cool. And How Adam Smith Can Change Your Life, which I got for college and will never be reading again. So, success. Okay, we're at the next stop, but I just wanted to show you, look at this grasshopper. I don't know if it's even focused. He's on my window on the outside of my car and he got on when I was stopped at a stop sign. And I've stopped at several stop signs since and tried to nudge him off. So I'm about to go get him and get him to get off my car. Cause I feel like the farther away he gets from his family, the worse off he is, right? I don't know. Anyways, we're here, so. Dude, remain calm. Just get off my car. Oh fuck, Jesus, okay. And here she is, super cute. Let's open her up and see what's inside. Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Wow. Okay, lots of stuff. So, to kill a mockingbird over here, which is great. Some real doll. Rolled doll? I don't really know how that's pronounced. Looks like some, like, romance or chiclet novels. Um, I don't know what else. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the United States... History, The Great Gatsby, so I won't put our extra copy of Great Gatsby in here. Student Sectionary, yeah, so I'm not really seeing anything that I'm necessarily interested in, but another Janet Evanovich book, do you see that? Crazy. Okay, um, I might just move on then, because this looks pretty full, and I don't think any of this is necessarily what I want. 
a separate piece is really good. I read that in high school, but I think I have a copy of that, so I don't need that. Um, what else is in here? Yeah. These look like some Spark Notes editions, some Cliff Notes. Um, the BFG, do I really want to read that? I just dropped something. I feel like I've heard of this, but I don't know if I necessarily care about reading it. So, you'll have to let me know if this is a mistake, but I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, on to the next. Okay, look how adorable the painting on this one is. Super cute. And here's the front. It's adorable. Let's see what they have. I love this handle, too. Oh, okay, so they've got the golden compass. That's a good one. Um, looks like lots of kids' books at this one again. I wonder if I could leave something. I don't know if I have anything that's this age range, but maybe we'll see. I'll take a look at what I have and see if there's anything I could leave behind. But yeah, lots of kid books. Definitely room for some more. So I have a duplicate copy of Harry Potter. Um, it's in Spanish, but I think I might leave this. And I might leave this as well. It's like a teen memoir type thing, like teen advice, so. There's literally a person in the car in front of me, and so they were literally watching me film all of those takes, so. Um, that's great. Everything's fine. All right, I drove to one on the other, like, farther away from town than I would ever normally go, and I couldn't find it, so I just turned around and went to a different one. Some of them don't have exact addresses online, so I just, like, looked at the street and then drove up and down it. Um, this one I did find from where I'm sitting. It doesn't look super promising, but we'll go look at it. It's cute. Um, so I'll show it to you. It's right by a junior high school, so I'm wondering if it's going to be the same, like, children's middle grade type of books. Um, but we'll see what we can see. So here it is. Let's open her up. It actually does not look as bad as I thought it did. I think I've seen all of this, and for some reason I thought that was, like, newspapers or something. But it looks like YA children's books, The Girl Who Played With Fire. I really liked The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo, but I never continued on in that series. Um, Paranoid by Lisa Jackson. I guess this is like a thriller. Calamity Physics. Ooh, Night Film. I did not really like that book, but they have it here. That's cool. Um, let's see. Some other stuff. Quencher and Thirst. I don't know what that is. It looks like non-profit or non-fiction. Uh, Some John Grisham. Paranormal Romance. Yeah. So they, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a catalog. A Reader's Digest. Well, I mean, they've got lots of stuff in here, so I'm probably not going to leave anything, but I'm also probably not going to take anything. But, uh, well, let's move on. I'm so embarrassed again. I'm at another one. I'm going to go and show it to you in a second. I did find something that I think I'm going to get, so that's always good. But the man who lives there was, like, in his garage, and I didn't notice him as I was walking up, or I wouldn't have walked up. I would have waited until he left. So I, like, walked up, looked inside, and then I thought he was going to leave, like, while I was there, but, um, or go back inside or something. But he got into his car, and then he was clearly waiting for me to go, like, get out of it because it's, like, kind of in his driveway. Either way very embarrassing it's fine oh my god there's a cat i can't see it kitty look at it hi kitty kitty do you have a home matt would be so mad if i brought a cat home anyways i'm gonna trade in the song lines which matt and i both read for college so we have his copy at home i think either way i kept the one that had notations in it I don't know if that's smart, but I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't think I'll ever read it again anyways, but I didn't want to get rid of both in case he wanted it. So let's go look at what they have here. This is it. I wanted to show you. Look, it's got like a Snoopy thing on top. Very cute. And let's look at what's inside. So they've got some stuff like, it looks like children's books and the like over here, like picture books, which is pretty cute. And then... Some Seth Martin, please don't be that guy. A pregnancy book. Okay, it's not. I'm stressed out. Um, that. They've got another uh, Janet Evanovich, so I wonder if someone just like went to all of these and got rid of their Janet Evanovich books, but just not together. I'm not really sure. But there's Martha Grimes, Jerusalem, Jerusalem Inn, 
and Rule, James Lee Burke. I'm gonna take the Charlene Harris book because I have some in the series and I would like to read the series eventually. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna leave Burp song lines. Okay, and one last thing. They also have Pretties, which I'm pretty sure was like a really big deal when I was growing up, but I never read them. So there's that. Cute. This one's super cute too. Um, this is another one that's at like a public place kind of, but this is what it looks like. Very cute. Let's open her up. And inside, looks like again, kind of a lot of middle grade and children's stuff. Um, some hunting magazines. A magazine that has to do with canning, interesting. Monster High monster high books um this looks old school yeah like an 80s <laughs> ya book that's very funny um and then up here looks like a dan brown book i actually own this one another dan brown book maybe i'll take this one because this would complete that series for me i think this is is this in the da vinci for inferno lost symbol i don't remember I'm gonna look up and if this is in the Da Vinci Code series, then I'm gonna get this because I do eventually want to finish that series. Um, okay, we also have Black Beauty. Looks like the girl who was taken, like a thriller. Do it for justice or to do justice. What up? I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. I'm so stupid, okay. Um like a legal thriller maybe um a love a, a romance cute yoga for beauty and cold mountain which i feel like i always see at goodreads but i don't not goodreads at uh, goodwill i've never really heard of it so interesting i'm gonna look up the da vinci code book and i'll let you know what i decide since origin is the fifth book in the dan brown series i'm gonna swap it out for cattle kate by gina Bomber's book, which is not a bad book. It's just something I'll never look back at again. It's like a Western historical fiction type thing about a female cattle wrestler. So I'm going to put this in there and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, hi. So I'm driving, but I'm out of red light. So I think I can do this update really quick. I've been to two other um, little free libraries. One of them is on the side of kind of a busy road and it was completely empty and it had a sign in it. I didn't take a video of it because I just drove by, but the sign basically was like, we're closed. Sorry. Um, okay, my light turned green. Hang on. Okay, I'm now stopped at the next little free library. Sorry for terrifying you by trying to vlog while driving. Definitely won't do that again. Um, but the other little free library I went to was actually at a car dealership. So I knew it was going to be there, but I thought it would be like kind of obvious where it was. But I drove around the lot. I didn't see it. And now I'm wondering maybe it's like inside and I just wasn't going to go inside and look. And I also felt weird asking because there's literally people there trying to buy cars to like go up to someone who works there and be like, hi, I know you're selling a car for commission, but can you show me where this little free library is? Um, yeah, so I just decided not to bother with that one, but I'm at one in another town near me. This is where I live. I like straddle two towns. So um, I am in the next town and there's a lady walking her dog. So I think I'm gonna wait till they leave and then I'm gonna go look at the little free library. So here she is. Super cute. I don't know what this top thing is, but let's see what's inside. Uh, so it looks like, again, lots of kid books. Um, this is the fifth book in some fantasy series, it looks like. Um, little altars everywhere. I don't know what that is. Lots of like YA and children's, and then we've got some John Green, Just Mercy. I feel like I've heard of this, so that's a maybe. Um, oh god, I just knocked something off. That is not ideal. Oh, I see, I see. So this says youth and adult. That's cute. Um, again, another like legal thriller looking book. Uh, yeah. 
so I'm gonna see if I want Just Mercy, and if I do, then I'll leave some things. If not, then I'll just keep going. So I'm gonna throw in what they don't teach you in college, since I'm taking Just Mercy. Okay, and with that, there's only one left on my list, so I'm gonna go to the last one, and hopefully we can find something. If not, uh, I'll just show you when I get home what I got today. Hello, I'm back home. Um, the last place wasn't a little free library anymore. There wasn't anything at that location. Uh, so, um, I don't know how many I ended up going to. I mean, I drove to 11 or 12, I think, but I think I only actually, I think there only actually were like seven or eight maybe, which is still a lot. So, um, I did get four books, so I'm going to show them to you now. I first picked up Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin, which is the third book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. I had the first two, so I figured picking up the third book just makes sense because eventually I think I would like to read that series. I say that. I also think I put it on a DNAP list at one point, so, or like a, a, a books I'll never read list or something, so we'll see. Um, then I picked up Origin by Tam Brown, which is the fifth book in the Robert Langdon series. So it's Angels and Demons, The Da Vinci Code, um, The Lost Symbol, Inferno, and then this one. So now the only one that I don't own is Inferno. So I need to grab that at some point so I can finish off that series. I loved Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code in high school. And then I found out that the series continued a year or two ago. And so I bought The Lost Symbol when I saw it at Goodreads. I keep calling Goodwill Goodreads. When I saw it at Goodwill. And so I have that one. And then I guess I need Inferno now. But anyways, I also picked up Dead in the Family by Charlene Harris, which is one of the Soupy Stackhouse books. I have the first four. Um, so... I figured I may as well get that one as well because I'm eventually going to read that probably. I don't know how long that series is, but it's like, I want to say like 15 books. So, um, and then I picked up Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, which is about, I believe he was in the ACLU. I don't really know, but this is a, an attorney. Um, and like, I think this is a memoir about his notable things that he did for the legal system. And yeah, so I'm excited to read this. If you don't know, I'm in law school, so I'm always excited to read about attorneys and like cool legal things. My dogs are very excited that I'm home and I think they wanna go for a walk. Do we wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk? Yeah? Okay, let's go for a walk. Okay. You heard them, we're gonna go for a walk. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, comment a, is there like a house emoji? Cause the little free libraries often look like houses. Comment a house emoji. If you would like to see me do this style of video again, there are other little free libraries in my area that I didn't go to. I just went to the ones in my zip code. Um, so there's a couple other zip codes where I live that I could go to little free libraries there. Let me know if that would be of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like it if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this from me. I do post two videos every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I said it's